The new WWE crea- character who debuted at the SmackDown tapings as a representative of the UPN network was, <laughs> oh, played, God. was played by current WWE developmental, developmental talent Brian Black. Black was signed to a WWE contract this past March and has been working with Deep South Wrestling. Anybody remember his name? You got a cookie. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give it five seconds. Four, three, two, Palmer Cannon. Yeah, that crap. <laughs> uh, the only thing I remember is him being super excited for the minis. No, they were the minis. They were the juniors division. Oh, yeah, my bad. Uh, yeah, the juniors division. And, and he was like super excited for El Porky. Yep. Uh, for anybody, any, any, uh, Lucha any, Libre. Oh, go ahead. Sign in, by the way, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, for anybody, any Lucha Libre fans out there, uh, El Porky, Super Porky, whatever the hell you want to call him. He's the father of Psycho Clown, and, uh, yeah. So, if anybody knows. What a family, huh? Yeah, right. Uh, he's got another son that, uh, his character, they, they they're called like exoticos, whatever. That's like, I guess that's the politically correct name for if you're like, um, like a homosexual character. What are they called? Exoticos. That's like so, the American version of a androgynous or what? I guess so. Yeah. I can't remember the character's name. Uh, but it's, it's Psycho Clown's brother. Super Porky's son, and he's not gay in real life. It's like the Gold Dust thing, where you know he just—that's the character he plays on TV. But yeah, it's a weird ass family, man. That's all I got to say. But Palmer Cannon—I uh, don't think he lasted that long before JBL chased him off. I'm certain he's gone in two months. Yeah, it was—it was like. Um, it was almost like somebody in WWE Creative saw the Cyrus stuff from ECW. It was like, how do we do, it's like, how do we do this, but worse? Like, in a not entertaining fashion. Come on, I'm sure they thought this was better. Yeah. Well, he's gonna bring in the, the juniors and the pirate. I'm like, oh my god. Hey, I love that pirate. You shut your mouth. I have a Jax figure of the pirate. Paul oh, Burchill. Burchill. That was so, that thing was like wildfire, man. I thought it was great. Poor dude, man. I, I thought he was like, I people thought he had go a... back. Well, oh, go ahead. People go back go and watch his entrances and stuff on YouTube, man. People like the audiences were eating it up, man. So it was a cool talk, entrance. People talk but... crap about that. I'm like, I want you to watch this and listen to the reaction and tell me this was stupid. It was a cool entrance, but it just wasn't going to get anywhere. And it's like he goes from, and the thing is, he was a good wrestler, and he had a cool look to him. And I don't know. It's like he goes from basically almost as handsome as Johnny Depp. Yes. Wow. With a walleye. (laughs) Uh, But he goes from basically doing an incest character where him and his sister made like creep. Well, not real life sister, but on screen made creepy ass comments about each other. He goes from that to the pirate. Like this guy can't catch a break. I feel like the thing with Katie Lee was later, actually. Was it? I think I, so. He went from okay. just being, um, I think he was, uh, wasn't he just Benoit's, uh, guy? Like he was, like, trying to motivate him? No, that was, uh, I'm not gonna tell you the guy's name now, but he, he looked like him, but he had black hair. Gunner Scott. Yeah, okay. I thought that was him. Okay. No, you take, you take, uh, Paul Burchill and you make him American. There you go. Cool. <laughs> yeah, roll tide, man. 